Hi guys, this is Murphy's Mom Needs to Mop. In today's video, I'm sharing with you twice baked potatoes because I just got my kitchen back. You see, I have been sharing my kitchen with my husband since everyone had to stay home to stay safe because he needed a place to spread out all his paperwork and the kitchen island was the perfect place for him. But it made it hard to do things in the kitchen. Now I have it back. So I made twice baked potatoes for lunch today and I thought I would share the recipe with you. I got the recipe from Carlsbad Cravings, which is a website and I'll link it in the description box below. And it was a really simple recipe to make. Of course, I did make a couple of changes. Um, the first one was they said to uh, start it, uh, cook it at 400 degrees. However, I had cooked my potatoes the night before, and I realized that after I heated up the oven that, that it may be too hot because my potatoes were cold, and um, I just turned it down to 350 for part of the time. I also added fresh chives because they said dried chives, and I didn't have it. That's how I work. If I don't have it, I try to make something else work. Anyway, so another thing I like to do is I like to put all my dry spices together that have to be, in, that go in the dish at the same time. And I mix them up well in a jar on their own. And then I'll mix them in with the rest of the mixing. And as you can see here, I had a little accident with the paprika. Um, this is why you shouldn't measure over a bowl, but yeah, I like paprika, so I didn't mind if we ended up with a little too much. After I melted the butter, I realized I forgot the cayenne pepper, so I had to go back and add that to my mixes. And then after I melted the butter, I added the cream and the sour cream, and I just mixed in the rest of the spices together before I put the potatoes in. Once I added all the milk and the butter and the sour cream spices to the potatoes, I mixed them by hand because I, I like a chunkier feel, but they said you can use a hand mixer and that would work just as well, but the, the potato masher worked fine. Then I added all the solid ingredients, the chives, the green onions, the cheese, and the crumpled bacon. I had made bacon a couple of days beforehand and I had some extra so I froze it which is a good thing sometimes I'll just put on a full pack of bacon and cook it all at once and then freeze the extra so when I have a dish like this I don't have to make bacon again so um then I stuffed all the potatoes and we I sprinkled a little cheese on top and I cooked them for about 15 minutes <music>
So after they cooked for about 15 minutes, I added some bacon and a little extra cheese because we love cheese. And then I popped them back in for about another five minutes. And everything, five or six, I, maybe it was six minutes. I don't know. Anyway, it they cooked a little bit more. They were so good. These things were huge. I put two on everyone's plate, but I ended up eating only one. And my husband had the other one for his lunch the next day, which was good because then I didn't have to make lunch for anyone. That always works out well for me. Anyway, this recipe is so easy to make. You really got to try it. If you like what you're seeing, please hit the like button. Please subscribe so you can see more videos like this. And all I want to say is thank you for watching. Have a good day. This is Murphy's Mom Needs to Mop.